Now we finally get started on to chapter four. Wait, extra chapters. I'll check those out later. But right now, chapter four, Yoshiki! Yoshiki! Chapter four! Pillars of the Six Demons. Interesting. Oh, I'm in the custodian's closet. <sighs> Aiko! I've been wandering around, exhausted out of my mind. Aimlessly searching every corner of the building for Aiko. Eventually, I wound up in the custodian's closet. Can I see the dead bodies now? That'd be awesome! Oh no, you're giving up. <sighs> no more money for me! It was no use. Aiko was long gone, and I was all alone. I'd been here long, en long enough that I began to worry about my phone battery dying. I didn't want to shut it off completely, but at least it felt... It felt prudent to turn off the screen. What now? If the book isn't here, then what the hell did I get so worked up about? I, I should never have come. Oh, really? You should never have come! Did you not honestly think that there might have been something strange about the fucking photos? My voice was breaking. I'd more or less given up by this point. <gasps> Phone call! A newly darkened phone phone screen suddenly lit up again as a call came through. It was Mitsuto. Yo, full of regrets again, I take it. You're pretty pathetic, you know. Well, that didn't take long. I went from relieved to infuriating a single heartbeat. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Are you watching me or something? You know exactly how I was feeling last time you called too. How do you know my moods? Don't know. Just my sixth sense, I guess. And why don't you pick up your calls when I call you? Well, that's an easy one. Because you're a pain in the ass. So, how's everything going? I, s I sigh a little on the inside. It's becoming clearer and clearer that this was just me to his way. I try my best to ignore his abuse and simply answer this question. It's not here. Huh? The Book of Shadows is not here. Confirmed by the fit by second by second intel intelligence girl. That photograph was created by someone in the school as a ruse to bring people here from the outside world. It's fake. Are you serious? I'm not at options. There are no more leads to follow for the resurrection of my friends. <laughs> Some Shinazaki you turn out to be. Does the bullet slowly turn to piss with each generation or something? You can't even get your hands on one, on one book of shadows. I'm no longer just embarrassed for you. I'm embarrassed by you. But you said it would be here too, didn't you? You're so, you're, so you're a liar! <laughs> oh man, that is rich. Nothing I told you is a lie. But if the skin isn't here, it's definitely a, a miscalculation on my part. The skin? Listen, the dimension represents the Nirvana that the Book of Shadows created, right? So somewhere in here, you're finding the Bonner's core. Didn't I tell you about this? What does that have to do with anything? If I can't find the book, I can't mess with my friends, and if I can't mess with my friends, then what's the point of coming in here? So what are we gonna- so what are you gonna do about it? There's a girl trying to kill me who's acting an awful lot like Sachiko, and I can't take much more of this! Hey. You might want to listen to this when someone's giving you critical information, okay? Since the Book of Shadows created the Nirvana, the Nirvana's core is made up of its contents. Huh? Find the core somewhere in this dimension, and it's pretty much the same thing as find the Book of Shadows. Meaning you might be able to cast some re soul retrieval magic or whatever. So I can't bring everyone back? Yeah. Yeah, about the skin, there are still, still all the internal organs. If the spell, if the spell's there, you should be able to cast it from the contents alone. My cheeks were on fire. It felt as, as though all the blood in my head had been pushed all up to my head. You've got bigger problems right now, though. There's a situation in here, and you created it. Now you have to take responsibility. Huh? What kind of situation? Something happened at Makina Sinazaki's apartment, right? That girl you came in contact with. The reason she's here is because now is because you brought something. You brought something you shouldn't have from Makina's home. You mean the Ever After Stones? No, no. Some part of a human body, hair, bones, nails. Ah, oh, the fucking teeth! The teeth. Those two baby teeth I found. 
the ones that were stuck in my hand. I figured they must have some kind of meaning, so I wrapped them in tissue and stuck them in my pocket, and I forgot about them until the very moment. Teeth, huh? Yeah, baby teeth. And, and I do have them with me right now. The girl you encountered isn't Sachiko. The Matabasu were researching this, but apparently there was another girl in Yoshi's womb, alongside Sachiko, known as the Vanishing Twin. What? She died inside her mother, basically melted and got absorbed by her younger sister. So, she, so you can kind of think of her as a Sachiko's unborn older twin. This is almost too much to process. Near my wildest dreams, would I imagine something so bizarre? Yeah, I've never really heard the situation though of, a tw of an unborn twin merging with the younger twin. <laughs> and again, this is anime after all. I think I heard her saying. Sa Sachi, could that be her name? Sachi, huh? A good name is any. That's what we call her then, Sachi. You can think of her as a as a petty spirit from another from our own world. Nothing more than a mischievous poltergeist at worst. Then, unfortunately, you brought her teeth to heavenly hosts, so now she's managed to give herself a physical form and awaken her here. And in doing so, she's basically absorbed the entirety of Nirvana's power and has gone completely berserk. She doesn't have any higher intelligent functions like Sachiko though, which means you can't reason with her. She's pretty much pure evil. Where still, her powers are st so strong that the physical chaos she's created is spread into the real world too, causing all kinds of shit to go down. Probably any unconscious grudge on her part would never have the chance to be born. But... How did I awaken her? How is that even possible? Why would teeth from a child who was never born even exist? That is a fucking good point. How is that even possible? Obviously, something happened in Makina Sinozaki's apartment, though. No, we never. No, we may never know what. Not, not worth worrying about it right now either. We need to focus on what to do with Sachi. Her power of absorption is enormous, and it's causing this Nirvana to shrink. And that's causing the dimensional, dimensional walls that separate this world from ours to, st to start breaking down. The wall between the two worlds? What if, what if it falls? Pretty much what you expect. It'd be the end of the world as we know it. Huh? Hey look, TV! If Sachi gets into the real world, the ensuing chaos will be immense. People will go insane and start killing each other all themselves. Death would pretty much... Death would pretty much rule the day. Also, those who moved to the to the app to the ever after would suddenly suddenly wake up. The world would, the earth would be taken over by vengeful spirits, leaving very little for flesh and bone stragglers. How does one respond to that cl to a claim like that? Especially when the elephant in the room is that this was all my fault. I literally be I literally be responsible for the end of civilization. Once again, everyone, a Yumi, worst character ever, nearly kills all of humanity. I was completely speechless, in shock. Most likely, all, all I could do was breathe heavily. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I'm fucking tired. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears so loudly that I felt some part of me was being snapped. I was about to snap. I had to say something to keep Mitsuto on the line. No! That can't be true! How does it feel, huh? What do you- Bet it feels pretty weird knowing that your actions are gonna bring the end of the, end of the world. Seriously, what the hell is your problem? Why would you say that? You're such an ass! I, I had no idea this could happen! <laughs> you had no idea? Please! Oh, my stomach! I couldn't take any more minutes to his craps. All I can do was scream at him, oh, him over, over the phone, and hope it hurt his ears or something. <laughs> It'd be so frustrating with yourself that you, that you, that you, that you're that close to snapping. Don't. There might still be a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't even. That didn't even face. Didn't even face him. He just kept on talking with that same cocky tone in his voice. <laughs> the only one person who can stop the world from ending again is you. Huh? It was just one sound, but I could I can barely get it out. I almost had no vo no voice at this point. I was just a mess of tears and confusion. Listen up, okay? 
You have a new objective. In order to stop Sachi, you have to get this new environment moving. And for that to happen, you need to find some divine prevalent providence on your side. Divine providence? You see any pillars since you got here? Pillars? What kind? There was the that black object I saw in the window, but I didn't know if the, if that if that was what he meant. The vana was built out built out of both of, of the of the Sephiroth and, and a bunch of pillars. Okay. Oh, it's Sephiroth! The pillars are made of spiritual matter, and honestly, I'm not going to be able to explain it. So you, so you, so you understand. So just so just know that they're called the pillars of the six demons. They should be located somewhere in the school, and even though they're called pillars, they can be re they can be they can really be any fuck. Jesus Christ! I can't stop fucking yawning. They can be, they can really be any shape or size. Pillars of the six demons. Just keep listening. The pillars of the six demons that exist in here in this heavenly host represent the north, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, and south directions. You need to release the, the seal on each of them to complete the he hexagon within this school. And you're the only one who can do it, since you are Shinozaki. I'm the only one? But why? Because you're Shinozaki and this, and this Nirvana was brought into existence by the Shinozaki bloodline. Seriously! Fucking common knowledge, Ayumi! You always have to be the fucking dumbest person in the fucking world! Yoshi Shinozaki's act actions create this mess. So I, only I can clean it up? I can see the responsibility that I had, had just just been let, laid upon me, and unconsciously gripped them, gripped the helm of my skirt. The power seen on each each pillar is fairly weak, though. But before you ask, before you ask, so what do I do? That's why that's why that's why you're releasing all the six to gather all the energy into one area. When the hexagon is formed around the core, all that power will crystallize and combine. Then, no matter how strong this is, this this Sachi is, you should be able to send her back to hell. Why do I? Why do you know all this? Why should I believe any of any of it? Can you show me any proof that this is all true? I'd rather not, but fine. I told you, I told you when we got when you got here. I'm yep, I am Agora, which means I'm descending from a bunch of shitty spiritual mediums. Specifically, I'm the son of of of, Shichi, of a Shinto pr priest. My knowledge of Nirvana and Hell, for that matter, was all beaten to me before I even even knew how to walk. Yamagawa, I do recognize the name. Sis talked about them once or twice. Well, we're kind of, we're kind of up there with the Shinosaki family, which is how I got got to know your sister. Oh yeah, you said you were her protege, right? Yeah. Anything more than that? Huh? The fuck are you implying? Don't go make it. Go. Don't go make it shit up in your head. I swear, if you were, if you were, if you were her sister, I wouldn't even bother with a lost cause like you. Now listen. First thing you gotta do. First thing you gotta do is defeat the spirit. Defeat that spirit. Even if, even if you do manage to find Nirvana's core, there's no, there's no, there's not much point in bringing your friends back to the to, the, to a dying world. So you go here. So you go here. Or simple. Protect the world by hurling Sa Sachi back to hell where she belongs, and find the core so you can resurrect your bodies. Think you can handle that? Um, sure. I mean, maybe I can. I felt like a boat drifting out on the ocean, allowing itself to be carried at what whatever way the wind may take it, whether I wanted to go that way or not. Even with the bet, even with the best plan of attack laid out in front of me. In no uncertain ter terms, I found it difficult to be certain about anything. It was like my it was like my willpower had, had already died. Where are you? I was staring at odd, an odd I was staring at the odd cube Mitsuto had give, had given me. We jump we before we jumped here. My eyes swollen with tears. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find you too, but I think we're in a different space. That's what I was afraid of. Ah, Jesus Christ! Even if I succeeded. How can I get back? This was basically a suicide mission for me. I didn't want to do any any of this. All I wanted to do at that moment was break down and cry. Don't worry though. I'll come and save you. Once we meet up, if everything's taken care of, we can go home together. Using the other after stones. So take care, okay? Can I really believe that? Yeah. That gem I gave, gave you will react to 
will react to the, pill to the pillars of the six demons. So keep an eye on it, and you should be able to figure out when when you're getting near one. Any anyway, good luck. Wait, wait, by Jim, do you mean? Click. The conversation was over. Can we finally stop playing? This? I stare a little more skeptically at, at the so-called Argus Cube with my hands. Do you know all this was going to happen before he even came here? We came here, I mean. <laughs> Damn it! Why does it have to be so cold? I don't know if I saw something in here. There's something in, there's something in the ground. Matches! Oh. Hello, TV. There's a face burned to the screen. It's fucking creepy. Now Sinoki and Koigabiki's bodies are most likely still inside. It's probably best not to disturb them. That face is just terrifying me right now. There's something inside the cabinet. There's a... Something seems to be have moved inside the cabinet. Well, fucking grab it! Well, nothing in here. Better get moving. I wonder, I wonder why my plan attack is now. That sounds like someone was coming from the, someone was coming from the second floor. Could it be Aiko? Probably. Phone engage. I realized when I was actually looking at my footage, it was a little bit darker for you guys, so I apologize for that. Is, is the notes still the same? Yep, still the same. No, looks like the new, looks like this new floor is breaking apart. Second floor, I, co I go then. Looks like the body's gone now. Interesting. The music, I definitely like the music in this. It's very ominous and foreboding. I think that's what I like about a lot of these games, really. The music. Oh, well, I can't go out that way now, can I? Shit. Okay. My adventure continues onwards as I climb the stairs, looking for dead bodies around the place. Wow, that doesn't sound good at all. I hope the person we're looking for happens to be Yoshiki. Oh, don't turn my light one off. Hello? Hello? The upper end of Dio is no longer in service. Oh, the carrier is presently outside the service area. Please try again later. No, not gonna go fr get through, huh? Damn it! Why would you take? I was gonna say, why the hell would you take the light off? But the oh, hey, dead body! Whoa! Get the fuck away from me! Stop calling him! What is it? You make any progress? I finally got through. What's wrong? You lonely? I I want to tell you a, a little a little about my sister. Okay, but don't stop moving. I'll talk while you walk. <sighs> that was an over overcompensation answer if I ever heard heard one. He wanted to talk about Hinoi just as much as I wanted to. I'd be more than happy to t to play along. That's fine. She was too kind for her own good. Yeah, she was. But that's one that's one of the things that I loved I loved about her. My grandfather was the last surviving member of the Aragori society. A family of Shinto priests with spiritual powers. He was the inheritor of the entire order. After the old man and my and my parents died, I was left all alone. The ones who took me in were the the WI. The we, the weaker the weaker institute. An association dedicated to the worship of spirits. They're a pretty big organization with branches throughout the world. Hmm. It was there that Hinoi told told me about told me about the na the nature worship the na the natural worship of a, of an animist. I gained more knowledge than I knew than I knew what to do with, and I learned all of the possibilities of this world that ha has to offer. And Ayumi. Though I am absolutely certain it's your fault, Sachi, Sachi has gotten strong, gone as strong as she has. Another way to look at, at it is you're actually saving lives here. What? If Sachi were left as she was, she would remain in the real world as an impure spirit, hidden away in the shadows, continuing to kill people in all kinds of fucked up ways forever. The only way to stop her would ultimately be been to do what you're doing right now. My ears deceived me. Was this an act of a, a, a consideration by Mitsuto? Was he actually being kind to me for once? For the first time since I got here, I actually felt a little hopeful. There was a faint glow within me now, brightening up the, dark the darkness around me. 
ever so slightly. Okay. So don't let your sister down now. I won't. Aw, oh, he's a good guy after all. Little shit. Never mind. Anyway, I better be careful that ghost could be around here again. There's no use hiding. You're always being watched. Good to hear. I'm just trying to stay away from the fucking spirit. By just walking, not running, because that's a bad thing. Come on. Yoshiki, are you around here? You better not be dead! I'd be pissed if that happened. I think I lost the spirit, actually. I think I duped effects in the cutscene. Okay, look, wire. Boing! The wire has been moved. I am now the victor. Hello, candle. I better save quickly. Let our adventure continue as I search for Yoshiki. I know it's that body! A name tag besides rest besides the corpse. Hinata High High Class 27. Shu Mitsuno. Drowned after being suspended upside down in a bucket. Wow! Was that bucket? Cause that's horrible. It was the second floor, right? Wait, I haven't bumped into anyone yet. May need to go up a floor. Okay, let's go up a floor. The ghost isn't following me, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine for the moment. Stop it, flies! I don't like you! Okay, gotta be careful about running. Running's gonna get me killed. Okay, maybe he went up here. Hopefully? Maybe? Yoshiki! Bro! Are you here? Please be here! Another fucking wire in the corner of the room. Ha! Take that wire, you've been bested by me and this dead body over here. A name tag besides. Koraku Yam Yanagaya High, high Class 2 Free 2. Yuji Ko Koaki. Face crushed by intense pumbling. Fuck. It's horrible. I wonder how long these people have died for. That's a good, actually, that's a good question. I never trip wire in this fucking room. Get out of the way, wire! I better be careful about my phone usage, actually, because if my battery dies, I'm screwed. Hey, there's someone over there. Okay, let's go around. There we go, got it. There's something on the desk. Bandages! You lied to me! Anything over here? Nope, just fucking bookshelves or anything. I guess I came in here for nothing, I guess. For I guess well, not really nothing, I guess one of the bandages. Okay, there we go, got around it. I was a bit worried there. Well, let's go. I gotta say, I really like the music in this. It's very common. I mean, to be fair, I mean, we're not, it's not supposed to technically be common because you know you're in a fucking school that could kill you. Is there anything over here now? Oh, fuck me. There's a fucking spirit over there. How the fuck am I going to get... Run! Barry's! Now, book it! Run! Run! Just run as fast as you can, Yumi. Don't stop! Fucking run! Oh, God, I'm out of stamina. Fuck! What the fuck am I gonna do? Can I use the ghost in here? Oh fuck, I didn't see that. Shit. There's something on the floor here. Ben, just fucking run! Fucking hide! Okay. Am I good? No. No. I'm not good. Okay, yellow. Okay, I'm go uh, the ghost is- Oh! How long am I gonna be in here for? Let me out! Okay, yellows, it means not yet. When is it gonna pop the green? Who's this- Oh, god fucking damn it, the ghost won't leave me alone! Ah, this is not the best way to spend a video now. Come on, just go away. Just go away! Oh, come the fuck on! Fuck it! <laughs> fuck it! <laughs> I had to fuck it! I literally had to cut that out because, you know, fucking ghosts wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> fuck, I'm out of stamina. Ah, God, I have to do sprint runs. God, I'm getting chased by two ghosts now and I have no one to protect myself. Fuck off! Leave me alone! No, I'm not gonna wait and stop you. Bitch! You bitch, leave me alone! <laughs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! Ah! God, I can't run! Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it, leave me alone! I'm fucking screwed! 
Fuck off! Leave me alone! Ah, get away! No! Piss off! Leave me alone! Oh god, come on! Go! Fucking run! Book it! No, I'm not gonna fucking stop! What a stupid fucking question, Goose! Leave me the fuck alone! Come on! Almost there! Come, come here, fuck out! Run! Get inside! Hide! Okay. I think I lost them. Hopefully. Okay. I'm just gonna get take a little bit of a breather for a second just to not die in every single moment. Seriously, like, that was bullshit! Getting chased by two ghosts? I had no talismans to protect me! She in the fucking inventory doesn't carry over from the last fucking chapter. Stupid fucking game had to give me new inventory. Oh well, never mind. Well, actually, now that I think about it now, I still have the alcoholic lamp, so I guess it did carry over. I just don't have any talismans. Oh well. I'm gonna quickly save. Alright, let's check around here. There must be something up here. Oh, I think I found something. Hello? Anyone here? The bathroom's changed now. What are you doing over here? Ready? I'm so tired. I leaned against the wall and closed my eyes, and the first thing I saw was Kishinuma's face. Ah, Kishinuma. I wonder what he did when he realized I was gone. Shirazaki, don't go! Shirazaki! He was so devastated to keep me from coming back to this horrible place, and the image of my of him react, reaching out to me, begging me not to go was burned to my unconscious mind. I hope he's not hurt. It'll be alright, you know. If anything happens, don't hesitate to call me, okay? I'm here for you, and I don't want you blindly rushing into dangerous, dangerous situations like you did yesterday. I may not be able to offer much, but I'm confident at least I can protect at least I can protect you from from harm. Can't you really though? I wasn't mad at him, he tried his best, but this whole situation was just unreal. I don't think he really knew what he was saying when he claimed it would be alright. You don't know that. <laughs> ah! There he is! <laughs> Kishinuma! <laughs> Shinozaki! Thank god, I was beginning to to what way my luck had ran out and I'd never see you again. No, what? Did you actually come here for me? I could barely contain the joy and relief I felt at having Kishinuma by my side once more. I tried to express it as a, as a, as a concern, concern, but I couldn't really fake it very well. Damn it. Yeah, I've been searching like mad for you this whole time! I was so happy to see him. I couldn't hold back my tears. They poured down my cheek in streams. No would have expect, expected myself to, re, to regard Kishinuma as a shining beacon of hope in this dark, gloomy place. Hey! Fuck you, Ayumi! <laughs> You're such a dumbass! <laughs> Always caution to the wind and no regret for your consequences! <laughs> I have to admit, I wasn't expecting to be insulted right off the bat and it kind of, it kind of shocked me. <laughs> You're asleep right in without even taking a moment to look around first?! The hell are you, a cat?! What well, you're the one who threw the stones out the window of the damn window! I wasn't about to take the sin down. If he was going to, he was going to, if he was going to fire at me, I was going to fire back by. And I'm not a dumbass. The other guy was kinder to me than you, Kishinuma. The one, the Parker. Yeah. Gee, pa kind. Where is he then? Hey, Shinozaki. What do you think? What do you think will happen if you died? Die here? I mean, like, Shinohara and Susumo, Shusum if your existence were erased from the world, can you even imagine how sad that would be? His voice was cracking and his lips were trembling. He wasn't asking about how my death would affect me. He was asking how it would affect him. My eyes widened and glazed over yet again as I realized what he meant and why he was saying this. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be, bitch! <laughs> but, listen, okay, in order to- Is that you, yo? You, yo, is that you? Are you in there? Uh? 
Ah! It's Yuya! Crap, he's here! You didn't want you, Saki! Why is he here? How is he here? Fucking Yuya! Shut the door! We have to run! I love to stay in chat, but I need to take but I need to take care of this! Go get the hell out of here! What? Huh? Just go, damn it! Go! Yuya is pissed. Damn it! How strong is this thing? We have to run. What are you doing? Go! But I don't want to see any more of my friends die, okay? If that pocket guy's being good to you, then that's great. I don't care if I'm the one, if I'm the only, if I'm the one to protect you. As long as you're safe, now go already and don't die. Save him. That's enough. We've run together. Hey, I don't want to see you die either, you know. And I'm sent being ma being made to feel the same way you do. Shinozaki. Hey, bitches! Don't worry, he's just a zombie. Shit, he's coming. All right, you win. We run together. Come on, Shinozaki. Run! Don't stop! Shit, he's still after us. Guess you know what? Downstairs quickly! Run! Fucking run! Damn it, he's really persistent. Wardrobe! Guess you know what? There, we can hide in the cabinet! Got it! Run! Oh, uh, we safe! Did we lose you yet? Please tell me we lost him. That'd be awesome. Whew! We lost him! Good thing I didn't run away, because always that'll lead to a bad end. And probably Kishin knew him again. No, you, you she could get a fist through his fucking head. Like in torture fucking souls! I hate that anime! God, it's the fucking worst. It looks like we lost him. <sighs> hmm? Um, thank you. <laughs> Same to you. Thanks. Yay, now we're bonding. Okay, he's going in that direction. Which is a good thing, but... Can't believe that Anatolic Mono is still up, up to its old tricks. Even after losing its master, that was... That was close. Oh, you don't know? That was actually a living person. It's not following orders from anything. It's just doing its own fucking shit. Oh, Shinozaki, do you have do you have those stones? No, Mr. Two has them. We got separated as soon as we arrived. Kishinuan looks stunned by this news. Now, not that I can blame him. Seriously? Ugh. He put his he put his palm to his forehead and scratched his hair for a moment, clearly considering his options. Actually, Kishinua, how are you able to get here? We only had we had the only pair of of our after stones, didn't we? Oh, yeah, that's kind of a long story, but the gist of it is that Aiko had another pair of them them skewed away. Aiko? Yeah, how do you think she got here? I'm burning! That's how she, how you got here? Not exactly. There was this other girl who stole the stones from Aiko at the exact moment she teleported, and I kind of forced myself along, along with her. Yeah, boob grabbing. It's totally awesome, but when I came to, I was alone. So the other girl isn't having any host then? Yeah, most likely. The stones are the real deal, so if I'm if I'm here, then she's gotta be here too. I think her name was Amagri. Amagri? I'm kind of. I'm kind of. I'd kind of rather not run to her again. She seemed like she'd be bad. She'd be a bad for our health, though I. I guess that doesn't really matter. She's got the stone, so without her, 
We may not have any way of getting ho back home. Our options are either to find that Mitsuto guy or like sneak up on Mag Magari and take her down, I guess. So what's the deal on, on your end? Well, first of all, I really have to find Aiko, but then also... I brought him up to speed on everything that happened since my arrival in Heavenly Host. He filed, he filled me, filled me in, and on the, his account with Magari and the events leading up to up to it. Most notably, however, I explained my mission to him in in as much detail as I could. I told him everything I knew about the six pe the pairs of the six demons and about Sachi. What the hell, Sachi? So Chico had an older sister. And she may and she may actually be more dangerous than Sachiko we we knew. Since this since this one can't even be reasoned with. Damn, that's bad. Yeah, no shit. What the? The hell? Is that a she? <sighs> I'm beat. Yoshiki man, where did you go? Pawanya Canyon was a bust. His workplace was a bust. He wasn't at home. Man, I can't even get through to Shinozaki's home phone at all. Where are those two? What's happening to them? I'll tell you where they are. They're at the school. I walked past the convenience store. My eyes were instantly drawn to a couple, of, to a couple of bold, bold face headlines, prominently displayed in the window. No bizarre death, and the ghost, and the ghost right behind, beside you. And these was sports ra rags. And what the hell is going on in this in the, in the world right now? I don't know. Good question. Huh? As I turned, as I turned the the final darkened corner to my house, I found a, a mystery waiting up for me. Obviously, obvious bodyguards in black suits stationed at each corner of the house. Huh? What's going on? I recognize that one. He's the same guy who put who put my lunch on the school roof. I think. I'm home. What's going on? Well, welcome back! Uh, Miss Kuon! This was too weird. But before I had time to process the situation, my sister ch chimed in as well. Welcome home, Big Bubba! Miss Kuon is really kind teacher, huh? Yuka! Yuka is now standing right up against Miss Kuon, cl clasping onto my, her, her arm. Welcome home, Sadashi. is she? Miss Kuon really is a wonderf wonderfully kind teacher, isn't she? Mom! Again. Before I had time to really process anything, my mom appeared right from behind the two, a cheerful grin on her face, and a spoon and a spoon that dangling from, from her mouth. What comes out of she? Naomi! Naomi mother! What the hell's going on? It's, what the hell's going on right now? To be fair, this actually works out pretty well. I mean, the two lovers are in the room. My mom, my sister, and Naomi had all, were all gathered tightly around Miss Kuon, as if she were their leader, and they were, and they were a squadron. This was just too surreal. Miss Kuon, what's going on? Oh well, rather than have Nakashima stay with me the whole time, I thought maybe it would be benefit, benefit, beneficial for her to to visit, since you all seem to get along with her so well. I don't mind. Come here. Come on here. Yay! Ah, that's so adorable! Ah, I turn around to the image of Naomi, look, looking the happiest I've ever seen her in months, with Yuka sitting on her lap triumphantly. Let's see what you mean. Now dinner's ready, so go and wash your go and wash your hands. We're having curry tonight. It made sense, but I still wasn't exactly satisfied with Miss Kuan's exp explanation. I didn't dislike her, far from it. But genuinely bothered, bothered me to see my mom and my sister just given to this stranger they've only just met. I get what you're feeling, bro. After a few minutes there at the dinner table, things only got more awkward. Already, Sadashi? Say ah. Uh. What? Ah! What? Miss Cohen's cheeks swelled up like a chipmunk, and she was inappropriately close to me. This was officially well past the point of being too weird. We were in. We were on Chai Territory! Huh? Food needs to be chewed 100 times, you know. The saliva from, from chewing helps break it down, soothing the throat, and 
e and even the vocal cords, so I pre chewed this for you. Now say, uh, What? You pre chewed it? I'll pass! I think you should swallow this, swallow that yourself! I also, you're a little too close. I suck my palm out in, palm out in the universal stop gesture as politely as I could and refused her genuous offer. Are you sure? Alright. I'm a fast chewer, you know, so I said before it might make make more sense to give you a bite and save and save you the hassle. What is up with you? What the hell is going on? Why are you being so close to me? More birds and the chicks do it all the time. What? What the hell's going on? No, I can chew on my own, thanks. I'm a human after all. I wonder what does that make on? What does that I wonder what does that make sense? As you wish, here's an unchewed dish for you then. Please do enjoy. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You gave me a dish of chew pre chewed food? Hastily still reading from what I almost fed a moment ago. I took a bite of Miss Kuhn's homemade curry. <sighs> well, I'll say it's good. I will say it's good. <sighs> After dinner, Neon ret returned with Miss Kuhn to her, f to her faculty home, giving me a chance to finally feel like I was actually ac actually home. Bit quiet too was still very much out of the question. You can oh dear! Do you have an do you did you have another axe in the bathroom? Accident! Just 14 fucking years old! I'm sorry, I'll clean up. Is everything okay, Yuka? You just wet herself again. Only a little bit though, this time. How are you wetting yourself? You're 14 years old! I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Even the doctors at, at the hospital were stumped after all. I just hope the medicine you would they subscribe has some effects. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a fucking moron! She has bladder problems for holding all the fucking pee at Heavenly Host! I should've been- I should've figured that one. Everyone has- every one of us who made it back from Heavenly Host experienced some sort of physical change. I guess it's just all- just- I guess it's all just a side effect of going through the he that hell. True. Well, that's a pretty cool image. That night, I glazed at the moon from my window while while checking in with Naomi over the phone. Naomi. Is everybody okay over there, you, Naomi? I guess, Miss Kunan's house is really big and she's really sweet, but... Yeah, Miss Yui and Mr. Two. Uh-huh. Naomi's voice sounded distant for a moment, and a little nausea... It was always she was getting kind of choked up, and she wasn't the only one. I missed all of our departed friends at the same time, but at the same time, I also felt kind of guilty about it. Now that we spent some time with Miss Kunon, other people have taken the have taken the place of Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, and Moishik. And in this world, those people are as real as can be, living their own lives. The more time we spend here, the harder it is to re to rationalize that the world we knew before is the correct timeline. What gives us the right to decide which world, which, which set of lives is more proper? So Sashi, about Kishinua and the class rep. Wish I knew. I looked all over, but Miss, but Yoshiki was nowhere to be found. I tried calling Shino, Shinozaki too, but no luck. The call wouldn't go through. Man. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll head into Yoshiki's place again. Okay, and I'll stop by the class rep's house before school. Sounds good. Thanks. Anyway, it's getting late. You should get some sleep. Yeah, you're right. Good night. Why are they not a fucking couple yet? Seriously, what the fuck? After hanging up, I continued to stare at the moon. It was like I was transfixed. What? what? And for a split second, I could have sworn it turned jet black. Just as, just a, just as it might appear during a lunar eclipse. I rubbed my eyes and took another look, but it was fine now. The shadow, the shadow cast over, over, over it that I thought it seen, it seen was nowhere to be found. What the hell was that?